So, what we got going on here today is uh, Greg Rick's playing hooky from work. Not actually playing hooky, I did ask off. Um, and we're uh, exploring the white whale. The white whale, some of you may know as the Schumann PLL. Uh, this is something that uh, has been lurking in the periphery of my existence for many years now and is probably the only effects box I've ever really, really lost it after in such a way that I could consider forking too much money out for. So, that is what happened. I forked out far too much money for Schumann PLL. I'm putting this down so I don't drop anything. Um, So, there we go with the awesome view of the Schumann PLL. So, you'll notice this sucker's pretty big. Here it is next to a swollen pickle. Here it is next to my bulldog. And we are going to go about uh, hooking this bad boy up and uh, taking a stab at it. This is my base rig, so we will start there. Let's see what we can do position-wise. Dog, get out of there. So, we will start with a bass guitar. And I'm going to use this Squire P bass, which is probably the funniest thing ever, because it cost about a quarter of what this pedal did. No, a 10% of what this pedal did. So, this is my first plug-in, so we're hoping it works. <laughs> um, note, 12-volt power supply, 12-volt power supply, uh, labeled PLL on it, oh, upside down, backwards. But, a um, little different from your traditional effects power supply. This bad boy does not, or he does not take a battery. Let's see what I can do here. Get a little. Okay. Where's the power tap? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm an adult. Ah, there it is. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm actually a little nervous about this. Um, far too much money invested for it to. Uh, should hear a buzz there. That's the uh, fan on my amp.
just figured something out. <laughs> um, so if I want three octave ups on the multiplier, one octave down on the divider, equal measure. I need to turn the uh, volume of the bass back up. Tune PLL. Uh, first take. <laughs>